What's up, everybody? We're back with part two of the Ravens rebuild. This is the 2024 season. We've had a heck of a time getting to this point in the offseason. We were in cap purgatory and we had to do a lot of clearing out of it. From what I remember, I am doing this commentary later on since this part of the season I recorded. My apologies. I did not want to upload the audio I had originally recorded with this like I did in the last in episode one of this. Doing the live commentary that Mike doesn't record the quality that I think it should. So my apologies. But we're down on 84 overall on offense uh, and 84 overall on defense. 82 overall. I think this team might take a little bit of a step back, but we'll we'll look at it. Take a look here in a sec. What else? What else could I need to remember? Yeah, let's look at the schemes. But I, th I think for the most part, we're in a hundred percent scheme, which is good. That's where we want to be. Nothing more you can do. Looking at the roster. Of course, we have Lamar and some guy named McCall backing him up. We have Curtis ready to take a, uh, the lead role. Stevenson and Dylan. R yeah, the wide receivers need a little work. I mean, Bateman's our best wide receiver. We have a bunch of guys that are in scheme that are decent, but have low overalls. They got speed. Most of them. I think Henson's like 6'3", but he's a little bit slow. Powell's got to start. We got to get rid of our uh, left tackle. Powell's hidden dev. Powell. Chris Leonard. All these guys have hidden devs or star devs. So we're good. And I think they're all star dev, hidden devs. You know, when you go to train them, they, you don't get your uh, pop-up that you, you want to see there. And, you know, the tight ends. We got Rashawn Gary, the new boy. Roquan, Patrick Queen, Jabo, Marcus Williams, safety, and Hamilton. As I'm looking here at the D-line. <laughs> Ogo, Nobi, Ogo, I don't know. Is it Whitfield? I think he's a star. I think he's a star. Nichols. Leonard's out. He's a hidden dev. But he's a beast. And Aikens, Marlon Humphrey, Jamal Dean. Pierce and Silver's at corner. Trey Flowers is backing everybody up. I think the defense is okay. But we got some pieces here. Definitely got some pieces with Gary and Rash uh, Rashawn Gary and Roquan. Queen and Jabo. With Dafe Owe. Uh, they'll probably mix in playing that position. But like we always do, we sim week one. Let's see how we do. And we get the win. Love to see it. What's that? 31 13. See the stats. Show me them. Come on. Come on. Lamar Jackson. Ugh. Marcus Curtis in his first appearance. All right, that's a lot of that's a lot of rushing. All right, three point five yards to carry needs to be better. His, his overall is too low for him to get over that four yards a carry mark. Hopefully, we can build him up. He doesn't have a dev. It is what it is. But Sean Gary getting sacked in his debut. Roquan two interceptions. The middle linebacker is picking him off. Love to see it, man. All right. I mean, it's, it's a good start. It's a good start. But I hope we don't start too fast because I don't want to do that. You know, I like to, uh, like to finish strong, not start fast. And uh, you use tend to see at some point you're going to hit turmoil in a, in a rebuild where, you know, just don't have want to be at the end of the season. All right, well, we're here at the week seven bye, jumping forward. 
we are one one and five the week seven bye uh what I mean I didn't think we were gonna be that bad dude you gotta be kidding me that's like a, a game and a half right there of touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. Five passing touchdowns. I mean, he's carrying the ball. What is going on here? This is terrible. I didn't see this coming. Ay, ay, ay. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, right. What, what can I do about that? Hopefully he's just growing pains? I don't know, man. We're 30th in offensive yards. 13th in defensive yards. What, are we just holding on to the ball all game? 30th in points scored. And six and points allowed. Yeah, because we're probably just playing ball control the whole game. Where does this happen, man? That's crazy. All right. Well, playoff time. We're not in it. We finished last in our division at 7 and 10. Great. So we were 1 and 5. We went 6 and 5 the rest of the way. Back up to 84s overall. Struggle bus, man. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Did not expect us to take a step backwards adding some of these pieces. Look at all these losses in a row. That really, that part of the season. See what I'm talking about? That part of the season that you go on, you just have to limit. And then that end of season, uh, God, man, can't even, can't even get to the 900 mark. Eight, nine, nine, and eight. What, what can I say? Definitely not. You're welcome. 17 passing touchdowns and 12 interceptions. Yo, if this was real life. This happened in his second year of getting that contract. People would be going insane. Insane. And going 7 and 10? No, people would be going nuts. Uh, cool. You ran for over 1,000 yards and 13 rushing touchdowns. No one would care. Marcus Curtis with a nice season, though. Rashawn Stevenson with 8 freaking uh, vultures. The fullback with three vultures. Looks like Mark Andrews, 800. You know, people would be going. People would not be very happy with these numbers, dude. Look at this. No one. <laughs> none of the wide receivers are catching touchdowns. I mean, Baltimore has become a fantasy wasteland. But three three guys over 100 tackles. There. Sean Gary, 12 sacks. The interception. All right. He's the only guy that showed up. Besides our middle linebackers, have to make a ton of tackles. They got some production. There were some sacks and some interceptions. Well, Humphrey with three. Let's just see more. Just, just give me something, man. 27th offensive yards. 9th defensive yards. Yes, because we probably just play ball control. 18th point scored is very mid. We are mid. Six in points allowed. Yeah, we don't we don't get sacks or big interception numbers, but we seem to get just ball control, hold the ball, don't let them score. You know, that seems to be the Ravens' way. Ben don't break, you know. That's the uh, tree of coaching that Harbaugh comes from. Ben don't break defense. Pro Bowl roster time. Bradley Fort. 
Bradley Ford, we know you, sir. We definitely know you. Is it, I, I believe our fullback, Gilliam? <laughs> sure, just keep going through this section here. We have no wide receivers in this. No offensive linemen. No, 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 no. Roquan. There you go. There you go with Roquan. Of course, our Tucker, or our, our kicker, Tucker, makes it. Yes. Yes, Tucker. You expensive kicker. You and your Pavarotti voice. Thank you for making a Pro Bowl. You're such a great asset to our team. Kicking all those field goals. All right. Yearly award time. Bradley Ford wins MVP. That guy is such a beast. There's Desmond Ritter in that Atlanta Falcons playbook. Kirk, Offensive Player of the Year. And Lamar, because he's like a glorified running back. At oh, Rashawn Gary. Very nice. Defensive rookie. Nope. Oops. Jeff Still, the corner. And some love. Clay Akins. Why you gotta name him Clay Akins? Zach Wilson, get out of here. No, Lamar's not there. Marcus Curtis, alright. He's number seven. Why am I even going through the wide receiver spot? Luke Owens, all right. Lars Buckner. Sean Gary, third. Nope. But for all that money, he can't win best kicker. Ain't that a shame. Let's move it along. We got an off season to get to. All right, we're going to trade away uh, Adafe Uwe. I hope I say that right for a third and a fourth to the Buccaneers. We need some draft picks here. We won't be uh, keeping him around. Thank you very much. Another trade. Marlon Humphrey for a first round pick to the Buccaneers. We work with them so well that we are going to send them another trade. Marlon Humphrey's getting up there in age, so bye bye. Have fun. But we replace him with JC Horn. Not little not bad there. JC Horn. Welcome to bottom alright welcome to round one of the 2025 NFL draft we have two picks in the first round 13 and 22 I believe our first selection here we need new wide receivers I'm hoping that the addition of weapons will get Lamar going and this man looks like a beast 437 speed, 6'2, 223 pounds, age 22. He's left handed. I don't know why that matters, but he's left handed. And he's hitting Dev. 92 speed, 91 acceleration. This guy, oh, please be a generational talent. He looks so good. And then there was another wide receiver. He's not in scheme, but I'm pretty sure we can get him in the scheme pretty quickly. He runs a 438. He's 6'1. Eddie Evans. Hidden Dev, 94 speed, 92 acceleration. Right-handed. Let's go. 6-1, baby. Then we need another safety. Uh, Sub-linebacker, possibly. He's 21. He's young. He's hidden dev. 6 foot, 219. Let's go. This guy looks pretty good, and he's young. Parker Waters. And usually when you have a good and elites like this, he should be... Oh. Man, if he had a hidden dev, that'd be so awesome. But we're going to have to replace one of our linebackers, if not just for cap. Defensive tackle, Sean Kendricks. Looking good, dude. Love it. Second in the 40, first in the bench press. 
Yes, Hidden Dev. Looking like a good draft so far. And he's young, 21. All right. Let's take a recap look here. Ben Rose, 75 overall, Hidden Dev. Eddie Evans, 77 overall, Hidden Dev. Hood is Hidden Dev at 74. So, and then the rest of this draft just fell off the face of the earth. These, I've not been doing very well with these uh, later picks. So, we have the second high, well, tie for first. Highest rated player in the draft with Eddie Evans, and that was the second wide receiver we took. All right, not bad, not bad. Really didn't miss out on anybody else that we really needed. Uh, didn't need offensive linemen. We have our offensive line. Good stuff, man. All right, we're at week one. 85 overall offense, 85 overall defense, 85 overall, overall. Team schemes, looking at them here. 100 on offense. What is going on with our strong safety? I think somebody's out. That's a problem. They always just, even when you turn injuries off in the preseason or during the season, they just like to make people out. They're not available because they had a boo-boo that week. They just want to make it difficult for you. Looking at the team, Lamar Jackson with McCullough still backing him up. Curtis is being backed up by James Robinson and P. Ryan. We have Gilliam and Maven do full fullbacks. I, I only do that because we're in Baltimore and they seem to do that. I'm starting Eddie Evans and Ben Rose and put Bateman. As, so... Eddie Evans and uh, Ben Rose don't lose their devs. Bateman, I don't care if he loses his dev. Got Andrews, Huff, Owens, Linderbaum, Leonard, and Powell. Almost all 80s across the board for our offensive line. Defensively, Sean Kendricks, Whitfield, and Le Leonard, Leonard, Leo Leonard. Leonard, Jamal Dean, J.C. Horn, Clay Aikens. He used to be in that sing-off show. I know, but that's the name they gave him. Casey Hood is starting. Yes, he is. Because Kyle Hamilton is hurt. But J.C. Hood will be our sub, probably. Sean Gary, Rokon, Patrick McQueen, the race car, David Ajabo. And you know our strong safety, Marcus Williams. And as we do, always, we sim together. Week one of every new season. The 2025 season is underway. What do you think? Win or loss? I'm going to say loss. And no, I don't remember what happened. Don't worry, Matt. Take all the time you need. We got all day. Wow, we won 24-21. Never pretty. Never pretty. Let's take a look at the stats. What did Lamar do? What did Demarcus Curtis do? Who showed up? Show me. We know Justin Tucker showed up. We know that. Lamar's not throwing touchdowns. Okay. But no interceptions. There's his standard 77 yards and a touchdown. James Robinson with uh, two vultures and 90, uh, 41 yards. All right. Not bad. Whatever. We'll take him either way we can. You know. At the end of the day, the Raven fans really care. If ben Rose and Eddie Evans go for over 100 yards each. Just want to see wins. We just want to see wins. Playbook is what the playbook is. Defensively. Yeah, nothing. Zero, zilch. What a statless simulation. No passing touchdowns, no sacks, no interceptions. No one over 100 yards rushing. Goo.
What am I looking at here? Listen, man, we gotta go. All right, I'm, I apologize for that. <laughs> well, we have a bye week to get to so we can reevaluate this team and see how this new look Baltimore Ravens team is doing. I have higher expectations after the season we just had. And is this real life? We are five and one, baby. From one and five last year to five and one this year at the bye. That's what I'm talking about. Lamar Jackson, 11 and two, almost 1,500 yards passing. Seems to be whatever I do with the training. I, he doesn't throw any more, any less, really. A lot of rushing touchdowns. Just what we do. Come on, Curtis. Still can't get over four yards of carry. Okay, numbers here for the rookies. Ben Rose, Eddie Evans. One thing I notice is your overall of your wide receivers do not matter for the most part. Really don't. So just draft them, build them up, sign them, trade for them. Now, I'm sure the better they are, the more numbers you get. But really, in all reality, uh, I've won with rookie wide receivers two-year guys but look at this second in offensive yards eighth in defensive yards hell yeah man we're just running that ball run 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 six and points scored second in points allowed controlling that ball working that ball down the field running it in try just let us throw it you might as well because you're gonna have to sell off for the run 87s across the board right we got with a start like this, we have big, 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 big expectations this season. So big. And we make the playoffs. But we do not win a division. The Browns are tough. Let's go around. As you can see, we uh, destroyed the Browns in the final week of the season, 49-14. They're always giving us problems, but it doesn't matter because we still finish as a wild card team. Just us and the Browns this year. Either the Steelers or the Bengals have made the playoffs. They've had pretty down years. What are you doing, Joey Bates? You get hurt? Lamar Jackson, though. That's pretty high passing numbers for him. 30 touchdowns. The new boys coming in here. And putting on a show. Marcus Curtis got hurt at one point. That's why he's not a 1,000-yard wide receiver. Lamar Jackson. I mean, receiver. Running back. Mar Jackson not going over a thousand yards, but 15 rushing touchdowns. I mean, that's MVP material right there, boys and girls. Sorry, I know. But I'm sure there's there's the ladies out there that like to do the rebuilds. Ben Rose, our leading wide receiver, love to see it. Mark Andrews right behind him. Eddie Evans. This is a heck of a passing year for Lamar Jackson. This is a down year for everybody else. This is a peak year for. Our Baltimore Ravens down the tackles. Oh man, Rashawn Gary not doing so well. Yeah, defensive production for as good as our defense looks with the numbers, not that great. Mid offensive yards, fifth in point scored. So we kind of came back a little there. Of course, you don't show me what rank point scored is. Points allowed, we are fourth. Don't bend, don't break. So let's take a look at points per game. We are we two, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six. Where are we? One, two. Okay, dude, stop, stop, killing me. I'm, I'm not counting. <laughs> Leading the way in rushing touchdowns, of course. Defensively, what are we looking at here? Sacks. You know, oh, terrible, man. F 10 forced fumbles, though. Yeah, that's the random category they want to give us. Leading the league and forced fumbles. All right, well, got to get it done one way or the other. We we're hitters. 
You know, some are, some people are showers and growers. Uh, some people are sackers, interceptioners. We're we're fumblers. We're, we force the fumble. Not bad, man. All right, let's get the playoffs underway. We are on the road. 11 and 6 wild card at the Dolphins simulating. We get the win 24 21. One of our favorite scores to win by. And we have the Browns to take on, which are tough, but let's not get ahead of ourselves and look at the stats from this past game. Lamar. Not bad. Can't throw for over 20 yards, but it is what it is. Bringing in his 40 yards and two rushing touchdowns. Bateman with a touchdown. It's not pretty, folks. It's not pretty. Caleb Leonard, two and a half sacks. He's a beast. Sean Kendrick's getting in there. No interceptions. Not bad. We have the Browns to take on. They've been giving us... Problems in the regular season. Hopefully we can get to them in the playoffs. We are a much better team. Much, 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 much better. This shouldn't they should not be a problem. But you know, they've kicked our asses before. So, as we do, we advance. We simulate together. That's what we do. What do you got, guys? Are we getting this win here? Let me know. Stop it right now. Pause. Let me know. Did we get the win versus the Browns? And we do. Putting up almost 40 points. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, that uh, end of the season beatdown of them it, uh, wasn't a fluke. I love to see it, man. You love to see it. You guys can have the division. We'll take the playoff victory. So let's look at the stats of this game. See how we shook out here. Thirty-eight twenty-six. Lamar with. Ooh, look at Lamar throwing all over the yard. Okay. Marcus Curtis not scoring touchdowns in the postseason, but and Lamar didn't even rush any touchdowns in it, which is crazy. Eddie Evans, big game. Ben Rose, a decent game. Love to see it. Roquan, Sean Gary, four sacks. Nice. No interceptions. All right, we're one win away from the Super Bowl, taking on my favorite offensive playbook in Madden 23 simulations, the Raiders, who are 11-6. and six. And that really tough boy there, Josh Jacobs. I, I'm not expecting us to win this, but let's simulate and find out. Yeah, they put up 35 on us. Sorry. I'm sorry I expected it. Just, I love that Raiders playbook. They're tough. Very, very tough. So, there is an AFC Championship game. We did not win. But we got our contract extended. Always do. We always get it. They love you. They love John. Love John Harbaugh in Baltimore. Gets him in the playoffs. Doesn't win many Super Bowls, but he, he wins them games gets them in the playoffs some guy named tyler davis carving us up for four touchdowns lamar didn't kill us but they really kept him under wraps rushing wise yeah but all right hey we're we're now back on track here that is what uh, we need heading in the right direction. I think our trajectory is going up from here. Looking at awards, Lamar Jackson, QB1. Not bad. 
Offensive line. Linderbaum. Center two. No. I don't expect to see anybody here. Nope. Not even rope on. No. Just despicable. We know that man. We know Ford. Why are we going back up? Well, not so much on the Pro Bowl front. I wonder if Lamar won MVP. That's a lot of passing touchdowns for him. And of course, he's always going to get the same amount of yards rush wise. Doesn't matter how much he passes for. Let's take a look at the yearly awards. See if Lamar did get that. Yep. Lamar did get the MVP. So he's got some hardware. You know, rebound season for him. Love to see it. This is what this team in this city needed. Nice little playoff run. Get those expectations back up there. We're having, we're having trouble today. Of course, he's off as a player of the year. All kinds of a hardware. Yeah, nope. Offensive rookie. Yeah, we just lost to the offensive rookie of the year, Tyler Davis, QB. Beating out Ben Rose and Eddie Evans. Unfortunate years for those guys to be rookies. They would have gone up and dab one of them had they won it. What? Did I just see Teddy Bridgewater? Huh. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't got an offensive lineman in that top spot. Eric Ruggs. There you go, Justin Tucker. Justin Kicker. Best kicker. The best kicker in the lands. Best QB, the best kicker. Leads to wins. 11-6. and six. And in getting into the AFC Championship game. All right, here's our moves. We're adding a Tyler Algier. We needed a punter. A man named Stonehouse. Bringing back James Robinson. And we're going to improve our our, uh, our backup QB with Kenny Pickett. Do want some money, though. But we had it. All right, we are now at the 2026 NFL Draft. See what we need, what we can get. We're at picks 30. Not liking that pick. What are we doing here? <laughs> Thank you. Please get to our pick. I'm sorry for not editing this out. I thought this was taken care of. But regardless, we're back. Let's make our selection. See what we got to pick from. We need another corner. Jalen Holloway looking good. He's got a dev. This guy's going to be a beast. B's and C's. Got some speed. Six foot, 200 pounds, but no dev. No hidden dev. We're going to need another safety. Earl Tongue. Three B's and a C. Fastest 40. Hidden dev. Yeah, that's a that's a safety right there. Earl Tongue. Oh, that would be awesome if he stuck his tongue out there. They should let him do that. <laughs> Another corner we're looking at. Darren Smiley. Uh, no. Took a shot there, but couldn't get it. All right. Jalen Holloway is a 74 overall. Earl Tongue is a hidden dev at 74 overall. Smiley, 70 overall. And just crap the rest of the way. Having the 30th pick in every round is not helpful. Let's 
see who we missed out on. Anyone? Noah Brown. Uh, that guy's probably going to be good for the Giants. The Giants have, like the Falcons, a sneaky set of playbooks. All right, not too much. What's going on here? Let's get to week one. We are here. 88 overall offense. 87 overall defense. 87 overall. Look at the schemes. Do they matter? I'm not sure. But I like to keep them at 100. Hey, don't mess with me. They're a uh, controller. We got time for this. So we got, look at the roster. We got Pickett backing up Lamar Jackson. Demarcus Curtis is starting with Tyler Algier backing him up. James Robinson. So we have Gilliam and Maven as our uh, fullbacks. Ben Rose and Eddie Evans are still starting. Bateman is our slot man and our third wide receiver. Lewis and uh, Jeremy Ford. Yeah, that, that man's fast. That doesn't have any hidden dev. We got Mark Andrews and Bellinger at tight end with Rutland. But really, only Andrews will get work. Offensive line is looking pretty good. All-star dev, all over 80. Andrews is an X-factor, and so is Lamar Jackson. Ben Rose, Bateman, and Evans are still star dev. Demarcus Curtis does not have a dev. Whitfield with superstar Leonard Kendricks. Is one of those, Whitfield and Kendricks, I think both lost, lost their dev. Or one of them still has it. Ajabo, uh, Queen, Roquan Smith, Rashawn Gary, Waters building him up. Got K, uh, Casey Hood and Earl Tongue. So they're going to work in there. We're going to build them up and probably, I think this, I think this is Marcus Williams last year anyway. So one of them is going to be the sub linebacker for sure. You got J.C. Horn. Go back. We have J.C. Horn, Clay Akins, Jamal Dean, Holloway. You know, corners are a little sus, but Pierce. I, I, I mean, it's good overall. I I expect us to do well. After the season we just had, how can we not at least even level off, stay forward? All right, advancing week one, as we do together, and we get the win. You guessed it, 24-21. Maybe we give Kenny Pickett a revenge pass. It's his old team. No, wait. What am I talking about? We're playing the Falcons. All right, Lamar Jackson. Some passing numbers. Anytime he goes over 200 yards passing, it's pretty good. Uh, the Marcus Curtis get hurt. 13, only 13 rushes, 37 yards. That's terrible rushing attempts. But we're going up. It's going up against a good playbook. Ben Rose, the man. Old tongue, the rookie, getting 12. Tackles. Gosh. Queen. Song catches with sacks. Oh, so this is what I did. Earl Tongue is our sub linebacker. And I put Casey Hood as our slot corner because he was the highest rated man there. So there you go. All right. I will see you at the bye week. All right. So we are at the week 14 bye. Uh, a later bye than most years. We're up to an 89 overall in offense, 88 overall in defense, and 88 overall. This team is pretty banging. Fortunately, we're not first in our division, but it's all about how you finish. Started off pretty strong, had a little bit of a losing streak there, back with a winning streak, and we just need to win these four games, and hopefully we can get the division. Let's look at the stats how we're doing so far. 
Lamar. Decent, you know, all go over 3,000 yards, I think, within the last four games. 18-2, and two, pretty good season. He's our leading rusher. Only five rushing touchdowns so far. That's a bit of a disappointment. Algier and Demarcus Curtis combining for over 1,000 yards and 15 touchdowns. Mark Andrews is the man. Wide receivers, you know, are what they are. Can't, can't do nothing about it. Demarcus Curtis, it's pretty decent receiving yards for him. The rookie, Earl Tongue. Second in tackles, two interceptions, or two sacks in his interception. Sack numbers are still down, but J.C. Horn and Queen have a decent years. Both the young safeties have a pick. I don't know what the rest of my defense is doing. Offensive yards wise, we're mid 20th. Defensive yards, mid 19th. 21st points scored. That's disappointing. And 9th in points allowed. Those are kind of down years as far as where we've been. Especially Lamar coming off an MVP season. All right, well, we have four games to go. Let's get to the playoffs. And we're in the playoffs, 12 and 5. Three teams are in division to finish at 12 and 5. We were the second in the tiebreaker. The freaking Browns have won the division again. Those were those rascals. Can't get it. We're gonna have to do it on the road again. And when it starts in Jacksonville. We beat Jacksonville earlier this year in simulation. Like absolutely smoked them. Um, let's look at the Nope, with the team schedule. We want to look at the regular season. Oh, it shook out here. These last four games. Yeah, baby. So I'm talking about strong finish. Even got a win against that tough Tampa Bay playbook. Stats and awards. Stats. Lauren went over 3,000 yards, 25 passing to 5 interception. Not bad. Both him and Curtis over 1,000 yards. Lamar almost 10. Rushing touchdowns to Marcus Curtis, 14 rushing touchdowns. Lamar, another MVP season, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's enough. Still no 1,000 yard wide receiver. If you draft our wide receivers in your fantasy league, you are a dum dum. <laughs> you are a dum dum. There's no reason to. No. These tackle numbers suck. Not even a 100 tackler. No one over 100 tackles. Huh? Sean Gary, Mr. Five and a Half Sacks. JC Horn having a year. Five interceptions. Okay. Earl Tongue with two and two. What? Why am I looking at that? 30th in offensive yards. What the heck? Third in defensive yards, though. Just holding that ball. Hold, hold, hold. 15 in points scored. So mid. That's all the kids say. The kids love to say mid. Fourth in points allowed. But defensively, we went, we went up. We took a step forward defensively. That seems to be what's carrying us. Just run the ball and play some defense. All right, let's simulate on the road against Jacksonville. Pretty decent overall here for Sim Team. Oh, no. I was going to say, is this one of those points in the mo uh, video where I forget to cut out a bunch of nonsense? But we get the win, 24-17. Let's check out the stats. Lamar, I don't need a pass, 111 yards. Just give Tyler Algier all of the um, touchdowns, vulturing everything. He was the MVP of that game. 
I mean, that must have been that must have been a terrible game to watch. Twenty-four seventeen and three touchdowns go to our backup running back. Lamar Jackson doesn't throw more than one hundred and eleven yards. That would have been a terrible game to watch. But here we are. We have the tough Browns. Let's get our revenge. They might beat us in the regular season, but we get the win in the postseason against them. Putting up another 30-some burger. We won't talk about who we're playing this week yet, though. (laughs) Oh, boy. Looking at the stats... Lamar going over 200 yards with three passing touchdowns. There you go, Lamar. Demarcus Curtis, not over four yards to carry, which stinks. But Ben Evans, Mark Andrews, you know, you know the you know the team here. Just do what they got to do. Oh, Rashawn Gary, Kendricks, Roquan, and Hamilton with picks. All right, not bad. All right, well. Last year, we had to face the tough Raiders playbook and a rookie quarterback, and we missed out on the playoffs. Lost, not the playoffs, the Super Bowl. Now we get the Buffalo Bills, their playbook, and Josh Allen, who is a beast. Another tough AFC conference game. Can we do it? On the road, in Buffalo, no. Oh. 31-29. Oh, man. It's so tough. Let's take a look at the Pro Bowl. No, nope, we're not. <laughs> Psych your mind. We're going to look at the stats from that game. See what went wrong. I mean, Lamar had a pass. He passed. He had a decent game. The running backs didn't show up. Bateman getting it done. Ben Rose scoring. But just a pitiful output here from our our defense to give up 31 points. Come on, guys. That's not that's not your been in your mo this year. Ball control. Josh Allen so tops the play. Do you ever play someone who plays the Bills in rags? I mean, Josh Allen just doesn't get interception. He just throws wherever he wants. All right, Lamar Jackson down to QB3, which is okay. You know, didn't get it. Linder Bombs in there again. Oh, Huff, there we go. Leonard made it. J.C. Horn, let's go. Casey Hood, (laughs) haha. How about that? Casey Hood made it. (laughs) And Earl Tongue, our backup safeties made it. (laughs) That is funny. And our punter made it. That's the second year our punters made it. Punt returners made it. But no dev increase for that, which is weird. All right, early awards. We lost to the MVP, Josh Allen. Bradley Ford's a beast. Yes, he is. Lamar Jackson. It's an awesome offensive play of the year. Miles Garrett is insane. Stanley Newell. He has to be, he has to be a quarterback. Earl Tong just missing out on defensive rookie of the year. That would have been so huge. He didn't even start. He was just starting the sub linebacker. Jonathan Taylor, that man. Marcus Curtis is kind of in there. There's going to be nobody here. Stop looking at wide receivers, dude. Linderbaum just missing out on best offensive lineman. Could have used it. J.C. Horn just gets beat up by Denzel Ward. 
Oh, bass. Oh, we don't even have the best kicker. What the heck, man? All that money? Can't do it, Tucker kicker. All right. Bit of news here. 37 years old. We can finally get rid of his contract. All right, Justin, it's your turn, your time to retire and experience your next career in singing opera music. Good luck, buddy. Baltimore will miss you. So let's sign some free agents. We brought in Kittle. We're, we, we're going all out here. It's time to win this year. We're bringing up Kittle. We're going to Kittle be our backup tight end. Maybe we can get some production out of that that man there. Maybe he can play the slot. I don't know. Tyler Algier is coming back. But, you know, George Kittle and Mark Andrews, pretty scary. Josh Elliott, Jake Elliott, I mean, A.J. Dillon, Kenny Pickett, they're back. And now we're in the draft. Falcons have the first pick. But we're going to simulate here to our pick. Pick 30 again. Again. Looking at Jonathan Hughes, we need another corner. 6'3", 4.42 speed. BC, BC. My man is 95 speed, 93 acceleration. And... He's a hidden dev from Utah State. Yes, I know we got linebackers and we drafted a linebacker, but this guy looks too good to pass up. 4-5 speed, and he's second in speed. And he's a hidden dev, 6-1, 23, 239 pounds. Jamal Lindsley, please be a high overall. We want to start you. All right, another middle linebacker here. Can't pass up on him. <laughs> now, this man is the first in... Uh, the 40 for middle linebackers. And he's a hidden dev, but he's slower. All right, that doesn't make no sense. But all right, we got two hidden dev middle linebackers along with man we drafted last year. Pretty good draft here. Lloyd over here is not a hidden dev. And then from there, back of our drafts, just finding no, no gems really. That is our draft recap of our team. No generational talent. Fine. Didn't miss out on anybody. All right. Let's continue, my friends. And... Big moves to announce here. We are going for it. Like I said, we're bringing in Johnny Taylor, Jonathan Taylor. We're setting Roquan and Tyler Algier in a six-round pick to the Colts for 28-year-old Jonathan Taylor. Superstar X-Factor Jonathan Taylor. You are the piece we need to get us over the hump and into the Super Bowl.